Welcome to a different kind of video, one where I get technical and create something. As you'll know, I have an interest in the more esoteric aspects of security from my RFID videos. Well, today we're gonna to look at another one of my interests, Wi-Fi hacking. I've been interested in Wi-Fi security since I bought my first PCMCIA card. Um, that you could connect to an external antenna. And back then we used Kismet and a Linux laptop, and apart from mapping where access points were and how many were open or at best protected by web, that really was about it. I took that laptop, the antenna and the GPS everywhere, from around the Amsterdam canals on a boat to even the top of the London Eye. Anyway, onto the modern day. WEP has been superseded by WPA, or Wi-Fi Protected Access, and yeah, I had to Google it. But it's not that secure. And if you choose a poor password, it's very insecure. Anyway, on to the poor Nagotchi. Think of a Tamagotchi, but a Tamagotchi that eats Wi-Fi handshakes. And this was created by Evil Socket, a security researcher from Italy, and his blog is up there. Essentially, it's a great use of a Raspberry Pi Zero and a screen. You can also add in a case, a battery, and a hardware clock, but you don't need to get started. It'll also work on most of the Raspberry Pi range, and even most Linux distributions, but then they aren't as small as the Raspberry Pi Zero. A quick note on the Pi Zero, make sure you get one with a pre-soldered header, unlike this one, else you're going to have to solder it on yourself. So what else do you need? Well, to get your own Pornogotchi working, you will need a Raspberry Pi Zero or equivalent, an SD card, a supported screen, and because I didn't buy one with a header soldered in, you'll need a header. All of the components are available from the Pi Hut link up there. I'm not sponsored or connected to them, but they do stock everything and their prices and postage aren't that bad. So that's really it. The first job for me is to solder this header on to this board for the screen. So relax, sit back, and watch me in high speed realize my soldering skills are terrible. I'm glad that's done. Uh, we have a header now attached. Now the next thing we need to do, take that away from there, Get rid of bits here. The next thing we need to do is we need to attach the screen. So now we have a Raspberry Pi and we have a header on top. Now I have a screen here. This is the Inky Fat screen. Now um, this isn't the default screen. This isn't the one they recommend, but it will work. And this has worked fine for me in the past. And you just literally put it on. Let's see if you can get it to focus in. You simply put it on and just squeeze it down. And that's all you do there. You just literally put it on. So you end up with a little bit of a sandwich with the um, screen on top and the pie underneath. So the next thing we need to do is we need to flash the SD card. Now I'm gonna start to follow the instructions uh, on the pornigotchi.ai website just up there. So you may as well kind of follow along because although I'm gonna be doing the actions right here and I'm be doing the actions on that laptop, in reality, you can actually just follow it straight from there. So, onto the laptop. Well, welcome back. I have my laptop all nicely powered up. So now I am going to put the image, the Linux image, on to this, uh, uh, onto this SD card. Now you need an SD card of greater than eight gigabytes, I think. I've got an old 32 gigabyte one here, which I think came from my drone. Um, uh, it's a bit too slow actually for, really for the drone in 4K. So I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna go forwards. So I'm just gonna now swap over so you'll see me now on this screen. So I've got my um, Pornogotchi uh, light. I'm just using the 1.4 as that's what I have around. So it's very, very, very simple. I am just going to find the image. There we are, we'll go there. Um, this is the 31 gigabyte card and I'm just gonna click flash and that's it. need to authenticate myself. 
and that's going to flash now. Okay, so now we've got a flashed card, so we don't need that anymore. What we do need to do though, is we do need to put a config file on the, uh, on the drive. So the easiest way to do this is quickly pop open a terminal, And I think we should see this thing loaded. No, it's not loaded. All right, it's just, um, 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 I think we can just literally eject it and put it back image in again. And we should see, yeah, just a very quick thing, just eject it and put it back in again. And you actually then see uh, boot and root FS are now coming back in again. So we're literally just going to create a very, very quick config file. And I'm just going to cut and paste it from the pornogotchi.ai website, which will be up there. It'll be up there this time, just along here somewhere. So um, we're now just... So we're now just in the uh, media Quentin boot directory. Uh, that's just the boot directory that would be on here. Now, obviously that'll be a different place on your machine, but it's just the, the slash boot directory, which would be on the, um, on the card after you've just written it. You may need to eject and reinsert the card. This is a really, really, really basic one. I've called my name like and subscribe. Uh, and you put your home networks in if you want to whitelist them. You probably do want to whitelist your home network. Uh, especially if you're going to be sending it up to the, the grid, you want to uh, turn off your home network. Um, and here your display uh, enabled is true, type is inky, and color I'm just going to leave to be uh, to be black. In actual fact, I am going to just save that. And then I am going to uh, um, unmount that directory. Remember, unmount before you pull something out in Linux, otherwise you can cause some problems. So now it's really, really easy. I've got my, um, uh, my thing with the newly soldered uh, header to make sure none of these things cross. They don't. I've got my, um, my Pornicocci display on there, on there perfectly. And I've got my card. So I just had it in a temporary little holder. I'm just going to go and plug this card straight into the back and I'm going to go and plug it in. Now, a thing to really remember here is that when you plug one of these in for the first time, it takes a horrendous amount of time to boot. I'm talking 30 minutes plus. So, the best thing you can do is take a wall outlet, take a decent quality USB cable. Now, that's one of the things you remember. Some of the USB cables are a bit crap. Uh, you've got two ports on your Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, the first port is power. The second port is for um, uh, connecting a device to it. So I'm gonna plug this straight into power because I'm not gonna plug into my laptop. But if I was gonna plug this into my laptop and I want it to pop up as a, uh, as a network device, I would plug it in the second port. So the port that's to the right if you're kind of looking at the display. So as you can see, it is uh, booting up just here. Um, it's going to take a horrendous amount of time to boot. It'll probably take around 30 minutes to boot um, because it's the first time this is coming up. I've literally just created it. I've just sold it. I've just put it together. It's still like flashing. It's still powering up. So I'm going to leave this here and let it do its fancy thing. I've got it plugged in actually to a, uh, a high capacity USB um, port that's actually built into my, uh, my, my electrical sockets. If you're ever changing electrical sockets, always put those in. So please like and subscribe and next time next time i'm going to show you what you can do with the handshakes that you're about to get off of this lovely pornogotchi see you later